So this is how you initiate a regeneration on the Kinetico Premier Compact. So as we can see, the indicator is now in the service position. So whenever it's between these two white lines, that's when the unit's in uh, service position. So right now, all we have to do is we have to advance that black dot to uh, somewhere around there. Um, basically until the point we hear water gushing, uh, sorry, water running through the system and that, that is when the regeneration starts, so let's just do that so we have to push down on this and we have to use that uh, white tab on the right just to move the indicator so now it's engaging the indicator, so we just turn it push it past the service position until it starts a brine wash, so let's do that A bit tight, so just do it slowly. And there we go. Now we can hear the water running through the system. So the brine wash um, has been initiated. After that, it'll do a back wash, which takes about yeah, about maybe four minutes, and then it'll go back to the yeah, service position over there. So, as you can probably guess, this is a twin tank system. So right now, while one of the uh, tanks is being um, regenerated the other tank is um, in service so we we'll always have soft water now those are the block salts over there and it's a bit hard to see now but without the block salts we can actually see the water level and they will tell us what the machine is actually doing so I'm just going to move this out of the way so as we can see the uh, indicator uh, here it's already further on from where we uh, started so it's just going to continue picking along see it's now where the eye is and if we wait a while it should move along to the and position that there, there we go you can see it slowly moving now it's clear the eye position and it's now on the, the letter N yeah so this whole process should take about 12 minutes to complete okay now we can see that the indicator is moved on to the rinse position yep and it's still ticking along so now we'll wait for it to complete rinse and go into backwash. Okay, now it sounds a bit different because it's gone into backwash. So now we'll just wait until it completes backwash and goes back into service. Okay, so as you can see the indicator is now right at the end of the backwash program. So let's just wait until it ticks over, which it just has. And now it's back in service. Well, not 100%. I'm not sure what it's doing now, but I think it's filling up the the reservoir with some more water to get it up to the correct level. So it should stop any second now. There we go. It's all done. Thanks for watching.